Shalom, shalom, saints. This is uh, Kohim Yochanan, Ben Israel. And I had a thought that was on my mind and uh, as I was driving here, and I wanted to share that thought with you. There are different people who were actually reading a, a, a poem to some of the some of the youth at a place where I work, and uh, the name of that poem that we read uh, dealt with reason, seasons, and lifetimes, and the poem was designed to help the young people understand uh, why people are in their lives, because we as uh, human beings and as, as, as people, uh, people come in and out of your life. There are people that used to be in your life, and there are people that are in your life now, and then there will be people that are becoming, that you haven't met yet, that will be coming into your life later. And uh, this this reading uh, made and made it, caused us to reflect on uh, the different people that are in our life and why, the objective of why these different people are in our life. And uh, there's three different types of people uh, that will be in your life. And uh, the first type of people that will come into your life are people that are in your life for a reason. People that are in your life for a reason. And these are people that come for a specific reason in your life. And once that reason has been uh, sort of fulfilled, then they tend to end the relationship and begin to move on uh, out of your life, move out of your life or exit out of your life because they were sent to you to be there for a specific reason. The second type of person that comes into your life are people that come into your life for a season. These are seasonal people that come into your life. They're not there to be there forever. They're just there for a specific season in your life and they came at that particular season of your life uh, and they helped you they encouraged you they strengthened you and then once their season is up and over then they move on and move out of your life so that's the second type of person that will come into your life and then the last type of person that will come into your life is the person that will be there for a lifetime. Uh, these are people that can take a licking and keep on ticking. These are your die hearts and those that, that are ride or die with you. Uh, they're going to be with you through thick and thin, come hell or high water, come sink or swim. They're going to be in your life. And um, nothing you can do uh, nothing you could say will repel these people out of your life because they're truly in your life for a lifetime. And uh, we just begin to go around the room and begin to talk about the different people uh, in the young people's life. And these are young people who have dealt with, with trauma in the past. And uh, they begin to identify certain people who were there for a reason, for a season, and actually that's gonna be there for a lifetime. And so I said all that to say that we need to reflect on the people who are in our life, who used to be in our life, and the people who we're going to meet one day. We need to begin to discern uh, why they are there. Are they there for a reason? Are they there for a season? Or are they there for to be in your life for a lifetime. And you have to discern and know why these people are in your life. And as you are um, thinking and reflecting on why these people are in your life, you need to start reflecting on why you are in people's life. Are you in people's life for a reason? Are you in people's life for a season? Or are you in somebody's life for a lifetime and as you begin to discern the ones coming into your life you can begin to also discern why you are in other people's life so I thought that 
it was a good life lesson for us all to hear and to reflect on as we're moving into the rest of our day. So I wanted to share that with the saints. I hope that you were able to, to get something and ascertain something uh, out of that little message there that will cause you to be strengthened, uh, to be uh, reflective, and, and begin to reflect and to make you think a little bit. So I'm going to say shalom, shalom to all of the saints of the Most High. Bless you. Shalom.